Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Viewers, you are welcome to today's devotionals of the Church of Nigeria Daily Fountain. Sunday, the 20th of January 2022. Our text is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. And the topic for today's discussion is obedience. Please, let's pray. Father God, help us to obey you no matter our present realities. Appealing to us to disobey you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, I read. On the fourth day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone... Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so. And the master of the banquet tested the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have served the best till now. This, the first of his miraculous signs, Jesus performed at Cana in Galilee. He thus revealed his glory, and his disciples put their faith in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum with his mother and brothers and his disciples. There they stayed for a few days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I said earlier, the topic for today's devotion is obedience. In verse 1 of the Gospel according to St. John chapter 2, we see Jesus honoring invitations. The bridegroom here invited Jesus and his disciples, and Jesus honored the invitation. He honored the invitation solely in order to honor the man. We see also in Luke chapter 47, the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 7, that the centurion invited Jesus to heal his servant. Jesus responded quickly. So as many that are willing to invite him, he is willing to attend to their needs. Jairus also invited Jesus to walk his dead daughter. And Jesus responded. The tax collectors also invited Jesus 
Jesus attended a feast with them, which was an offense to the Pharisees and Sadducees. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Jesus was a blessing to the wedding that took place in Cana of Galilee, where his first miracle took place. Thank God, his mother was also invited. And his mother was very sensitive, very sensitive. In the course of the celebrations, we are told that the wine got finished. And the mother came to Jesus, seeking for solution to the problem on ground. This portrays her sensitivity to the things happening around her. We should also be concerned when things are not working right around us. In the community where we live, in our local governments, in our states, even in our nation, Nigeria, we should not only be concerned, we should also seek solutions. We should seek to take action to remedy the situation on ground. We saw this practical in the life of Mary the mother of Jesus. She came seeking for solution to the problem on ground. And Jesus stated, Mother, this is not my time. Jesus is always on course. He is never too late to attend to any matter that he is invited to attend to. Brother, sister, don't give up over that matter, over that situation. Don't allow the situation to discourage you to the point of seeking alternatives. That situation, I assure you, will never engulf you. Jesus' mother understood this one. And she believed that Jesus was able and he can do something about it rather than the disciples of Jesus who believed after the miracle had taken place. And then in verse 5, the Bible says, The mother said to the servant standing there, Do whatever he tells you. We see this one also in Luke chapter 5, when Peter stated to Jesus that I have toiled, we have toiled all night. But since you said so, we will do it by your word. And we know what came after that. In John chapter 9, the man born blind also obeyed to go and wash himself in the river Siloam. And the result was that he got his sight. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, the centurion told Jesus, just speak the word. I'm not worthy for you to come to my house. Just speak the word. And Jesus spoke the word. And it was settled. Don't mind side comments that people might be making towards what you are passing through. Just believe him and your matters will be settled. What obedience does, as we will see in the commentary, the miracle of turning water into wine was the beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, as we can see in verse 11. We are to note that Jesus responded to a request from his beloved mother, Mary. A very important principle in our relationship with Christ is established by what the mother, Mary, told those serving officials. Whatever he says to you, do it. When we obey, Certain things come to bear. God accords us to be righteous, as in the case of Abraham. God makes us his friends. As it is stated in the gospel, according to St. John chapter 15, verse 14. God makes us happy. As the songwriter or the hymn writer states, When we walk with the Lord, 
in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. When we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. This is obedience. This important principle is very fundamental in our relationship with God. God desires our obedience built on our love for Him. He requires us to love Him with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. Love makes us obey Him by keeping His commandments. Jesus said, You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. John chapter 15 verse 14. For us to know what he commands us to do, we must be close to him to hear him. This closeness with the Lord is attained by obediently studying the word of God in faith and in prayer. As many that obeys God in the places where paraphrase receive the reward of obedience. There are categories of people in the Bible that disobeys God and they receive also the reward of disobedience. We see this one practical in the life of King Saul. King Saul received the recompense of disobedience. His throne, he was dethroned and David was brought in as the new king with an everlasting covenant that was established with him. With Jesus present, your now situation shall be addressed. The chief celebrant said to the bridegroom, everyone brings the sweet wine everyone will enjoy before the one that is not sweet as of this. But now you have brought this one when everyone has drunk the one that is not sweet like this one. This is a call for us to know that sweet wine only come through Jesus, our true bridegroom. To as many that will be invited to the final wedding are many that are obedient. Many that have responded to the gospel call and many that are willing to surrender to him. Let us pray. Dear Lord, take away the stony heart from me and grant me the heart of flesh that will enable me to obey you in everything. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.